வணக்கம் இந்த சென்னை ஃபோட்டோ பியனால் அப்படிங்கிற விஷயம் சிபிபி ஃபவுண்டேஷன் அப்படிங்கிறவங்களும் மேக்ஸ் மில்லர் பவன் கோதி இன்ஸ்டிடியூட்டும் சேர்ந்து வழங்கக்கூடிய இந்த ஃபெஸ்டிவல் வந்து ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபியை கருவாக கொண்டு இயங்க இயங்க இருக்கிறது இது வந்து பிப்ரவரி இருபத்தி ரெண்டாம் தேதி ஆரம்பித்து மார்ச் இருபத்தி நாலாம் தேதினு ஒரு மாத க வகையில் நடக்க போகுது இந்த ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி சென்னை ஃபோட்டோ பியனல் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் அப்படிங்கிறது கொச்சி முசுரிஸ் பியனல் அப்படின்னு பல பேர் பியனல் மாதிரியான மா மாதிரி எடுத்து இங்கே வந்துட்டு இதை எக்ஸிக்யூட் பண்ணியிருக்கிறாங்க இதில் வந்துட்டு இந்த முப்பது நாளில் பதிமூணு நாடுகளை சேர்ந்த ஐம்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி எக்ஸ்பர்ட்ஸ் வந்துட்டு அவங்களுடைய கலை அவங்களுடைய ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபியை வந்துட்டு இங்கே கொண்டு வராங்க ஆர்ட் இன்ஸ்டலேஷனும் இங்கே கொண்டு வராங்க இந்த ஹோல் பியனால் வந்துட்டு ஆர்டிஸ்டிக் டைரக்டராக இந்த சிபிபி ஃபவுண்டேஷனும் மேக்ஸ் மில்லர் பவனும் யாரை கொண்டு வராங்கன்னா புஷ்பமாலா அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு கலைஞரை கொண்டு வராங்க புஷ்பமாலா வந்துட்டு சிற்ப வடிவமில் ஆரம்பித்து ஒரு இந்தியன் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபினுடைய முக்கியமான இன்ஃப்ளூன்ஸாக இருந்து கண்டெம்பரரி ஆர்ட்டில் வந்துட்டு ஒரு பெரிய இன்ஃப்ளூன்ஸாக இன்றைக்கி இருக்கிறாங்க இவங்களுடைய க்யூரேட் இவங்களுடைய பொறுப்பு நுழையும் இவங்களுடைய செலக்டிவ் மூலியமாக தான் எந்தெந்த ஆர்டிஸ்ட் வராங்க என்ன மாதிரியான ஆர்ட்டு இன்ஸ்டலேஷன் வருது அப்படின்னு தேர்ந்தெடுத்து இந்த முப்பது நாளும் நடக்க போகுது இந்த முப்பது நாள் இந்த சென்னையில் பதினஞ்சு இடங்களில் பதினஞ்சு பதினாலு இடங்களில் சிந்தாதிரிப்பட்டு ரயில்வே ஸ்டேஷன் மாதிரியான இடங்கள் இன்றைக்கி இந்த சென்னை மெட்ராஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டியில் நடக்கிற இந்த சென்னேட் ஹவுஸ் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு ஹெரிட்டேஜ் பில்டிங் மாதிரியான இடங்கள் அப்படின்னு ஒரு பதினஞ்சு இடங்களில் சூஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கிறாங்க அந்த இடங்களில் இந்த எக்ஸிபிஷன்ஸ் இன்ஸ்டாலேஷன்ஸ் இதெல்லாமே நடக்க போகுது இது தவிர்த்து பேரலாக முப்பது நாள் நடக்கக்கூடிய இந்த எக்ஸிபிஷன் தவிர்த்து பேரலாக என்னென்ன நடக்க போகுதுன்னா ஒரு இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் நடக்க போகுது மார்ச்சில் ரெண்டு நாள் அந்த இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் வந்து இந்தியாவிலே முதல் முறையாக வந்து ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபிக்காக ஒரு கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் நடக்க போகுது ஒரு பதிமூணு ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் கொண்டு வராங்க ரெண்டு நாள் முழு நாட்களாக நடக்கக்கூடிய நிகழ்ச்சி அது அது தவிர்த்து ஃபோட்டோ வாக்ஸ் கொண்டு வராங்க பொது மக்களை ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபியில் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டாக இருக்கிற ஆட்களை வந்து ஃபோட்டோ வாக்ஸ்க்கு அழைச்சிருக்கிறாங்க அதனுடைய ஸ்கெடியூலும் கொடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்குது அப்புறம் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபியை வந்துட்டு ஐடியாவாக எடுத்து செய்யப்பட்ட தயாரிக்கப்பட்ட சினிமாக்களை வந்துட்டு கொண்டு வராங்க அது ஸ்க்ரீன் பண்ண போகிறாங்க அது தமிழ் சினிமாவும் இருக்குது வெளிநாட்டில் இருந்து இருக்கிற மற்ற மொழி சினிமாக்களும் இருக்குது இது தவிர்த்து ஆர்ட் ஸ்டாக்ஸ் அப்படின்னு ஒன்று கொண்டு வராங்க அதுவும் வந்துட்டு கிட்டத்தட்ட இந்தியாவில் முதல் முன்னெடுப்பு அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் பல்வேறு ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபியில் தேர்ந்த பல்வேறு ஆட்கள் வந்துட்டு ஆர்ட் ஸ்டாக்ஸ்லேயும் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ண போகிறாங்க அது கிட்டத்தட்ட ஞாயிறு சனி அப்படிங்கிற ஸ்கெடியூலில் அந்த விஷயம் போக போகுது ஸோ கிட்டத்தட்ட ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி அப்படிங்கிறத சென்னையோடைய ஒரு தலைநகரமாக இந்தியாவுக்கு வந்துட்டு வரைபடத்தில் வைக்கணும் அப்படிங்கிற கருத்தில் இந்த ஹோல் பியனாலும் அந்த ஆம்பிஷனில் மூவ் பண்ணுறாங்க ஸோ இதை பொதுமக்களுக்கு நல்லபடியாக எடுத்துட்டு போயிட்டு அவங்களோட பார்ட்டிசிபேஷனாக கொண்டு வர்றதில் ரொம்ப நல்லாயிருக்கும் நிறைய நிகழ்ச்சிகள் வந்துட்டு ஃப்ரீ அண்ட் ஓப்பன் டு ஆல் அப்படிங்கிற வகையில் தான் இருக்குது சில நிகழ்ச்சிகளுக்கு மட்டும் முன் ரெஜிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் பண்ண வேண்டிய அவசியம் இருக்கும் அதனுடைய இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் எல்லாமே சென்னை ஃபோட்டோ பியூனலுடைய வெப்சைட்டில் இருக்குது ஃபேஸ்புக்கில் இருக்குது இன்ஸ்டாகிராமில் இருக்குது கவிதா கஜேந்திரன் தேங்க்ஸ் Thank you very much for coming out here. I think it's just a great moment, an overwhelming moment for me to stand in such a beautiful heritage building with such beautiful artwork behind me and in all the other um, uh, buildings and rooms of this building. It's just a fantastic moment we have been dreaming of. There have been a few bigger photo events in the past in Chennai and normally I'm not a person who likes very much the superlatives but I say something now I do believe that this is will be the best and the most ambitious festival of the photographic art that Chennai has ever seen that is my vision and I think it will be like that Now how can that happen how can that happen there are some reasons for it very clear number 1 is we had we have an excellent artistic director and curator pushpa mala n who selected the artists and artworks who brought together ideas and connections and i can even now introduce you to her that is pushpa mala n who will in a short while give you some more insight into the artwork so that's definitely number 1 why this will be a very big and great and fantastic show second one 
Varun mentioned it already, and here we are in this most spectacular place, the spectacular heritage buildings and spaces, where usually not many people can go inside. For me, from a German, from a European point of view, I don't understand why this is like that. I spoke to many Indian friends and artists, they don't understand it either. So let's hope that this initiative, this Photo Biennale, will be one important uh, moment of change, where in future these wonderful buildings will be opened. A third point, of course, if you look at this wonderful map that Varun has shown around, you find this time 60, 60 logos of sponsors, patrons. There are lots of members, crowdfunders, well-wishers, friends, etc. And it is just fantastic that we get so much support. Number four is you, the media. Without you, all we know, we are nothing. We have to be visible. We have to be there outside in the public. And you can help us all over this time. And we are very, very grateful to you that you came out here and for all the energies. Last but not least, I'm sure there are many more points. We have worked with an incredible team day and night and with a lot of passion and energy and you go around and see the results of this. So Chennai Photo Biennale will start tomorrow, officially, 11 o'clock, the 22nd of February, and will be on for 30 days till March 24th. The core are, of course, the carefully selected exhibitions of more than 50 artists, and they're spread all over the town, as Varun has already mentioned. But there is much more. 16th, 17th of March, a weekend, there will be an international conference on photography, probably the first one of its kind that, has, that will be shown in India, with participation from 13, from 13 speakers from all over the world. And then, of course, we have 50 or maybe even more um, different events like artist talks, like films on photographies, like workshops and many things. The Goethe Institute, whose director I am, which I represent, or the Max Müller Bhavan, as it's better known, the MMB in India, has been in this photo biennale a reliable and strong partner from the very first moment in 2015, actually, in August 2015, when the idea for this was born. Now we see the realization of a mega event. We, and I speak now also of this German part, Germany, of this Indo-German collaboration, we believe, we believe in this Biennale, we believe in its creative power, we believe in the power of art and ideas, we believe in its transformative power in this town and in its innovation. We believe that this is one of the best ways of adding quality of life to Chennai and value to this huge, fast-growing metropolis. Chennai, or Madras, has in the past been so many things, a seaport, a colonial city, a home for important social justice movement, the Dravidian movement, the maker of Carnatic music and classical dance, the home of the Hollywood film studios. If Chennai really looks into the future of this metropolis and maybe compares itself a little with other cities of this size, it will notice that it needs to be identified and recognized with something as a modern city of the 21st century and a big contemporary art event that everybody speaks of that everyone has in her or his calendar. So this is our vision that Chennai Photo Biennale should be that. 
As far as the audacious, the contemporary, the critical art is concerned, Chennai has not always been an easy place. We have seen again recently, this year, last year, fan fantastically curated and designed big art shows, but altogether very, very little audience or public. Sometimes you have a fantastic show, but then after 15 days you realize there have been 200, 300 visitors. How can that be? There is in Chennai no bigger cultural space for young and innovative initiatives. Many things happen almost hidden in clubs and behind walls. That is something we would like to change. And if I say it's not only the enthusiastic organizers, but a big and influential group of corporates, of government people, the so-called bureaucrats, of institutions, of institutional people, of private-public partnership. Our Chennai Photo Biennale aims at making sense in this town and creating meaning and value. We want to make Chennai the capital of photography in India, and I think this is almost a fantastic end of what I wanted to say. So I just add one thing before inviting Pushpamala a little bit to speak. I said it already this morning. Last year was the 50th anniversary of the students' revolt in Europe and in many other parts of the world. Thank you all for coming here. I come from Bangalore, so I know a little bit of Tamil, but not enough to address you all. So <laughs> I'll speak in English. So um, I was quite interested when uh, the Chennai Photo Biennale invited me to be the curator and, and artistic director of this uh, 2019 second edition of the Biennale, because I'm actually an artist and not a professional photographer, but I work a lot in photography. So I took it as a, it was a very interesting challenge for me. And uh, so I came here several times and uh, saw the venues, I was taken around the venues and um, I think these kind of venues are not there anywhere else in the country. So it's quite exciting to work with these spaces and in many ways the ideas that I got for curating are from the spaces. The title of the Biennale is Fauna of Mirrors. And uh, this, is, uh, this is something I found uh, on the web, uh, which is an ancient Chinese myth which talks about an alternate world that exists behind the mirror. So uh, here I see, I'm seeing photography as a kind of a mirror portal uh, which has created this parallel world of images which exist alongside us like specters. So we are surrounded by images, photographic images, and uh, which are sometimes friendly and sometimes hostile. So this is my concept of the uh, Biennale, and this will be my argument. Uh, but in terms of curating the show, I have, uh, I have got a different theme for each uh, venue. So for example, Senate House, all the works are uh, around the uh, notion of the archive. So, and uh, because the uh, architecture is so uh, beautiful, I didn't want to spoil the architecture by putting up walls. So you'll see that all the works stand up from the ground. There are no uh, extra walls built, hardly any extra walls built, uh, except one, uh, to uh, show uh, photographic works. But all the works are photography based, and there are uh, photo installations and also some uh, videos. And the title of the show is Labyrinths. So, the other, some of the other venues are uh, Government College of um, Fine Arts, where we have three big shows. Uh, one is called Unbearable Lightness of Being. The other one is uh, uh, the, uh, the Face of Being. Anyway, the two other shows, one is called uh, Fractured, and the other one is the Face of the Unknown. And uh, then another site is the Madras Literary Society, uh, where uh, there are three artists whose uh, works are around uh, uh, books and libraries. Um, then another site is uh, the Art House Gallery, where I have a show on cinema. It's called I Love Cinema. So it's uh, works of different uh, uh, photographs and videos of different uh, photo artists who have worked on the subject. 
subject of cinema. So there is uh, Tamil cinema, Telugu cinema, Hindi cinema and international cinema sections I would say. Very interesting, you must go and see it. So uh, then Chola Mandal is another site. So there are six main venues and nine exhibitions and plus we have several exhibitions in MRTS stations where we have invited uh, different institutions like NID, Gandhinagar, Srishti, uh, Bangalore, uh, uh, NIFT, uh, Chennai and uh, Shasun College has also just come in where they will be taking over the whole station and uh, uh, they, they will be uh, exploring or exhibiting their students works. So it's quite a huge PNLA and uh, there are different kinds of activities and one of my uh, major uh, pet projects is uh, the International Photography Seminar which is I think the first of its kind as Helmut also mentioned. That's on March 16th and 17th and over two days there will be speakers from all over the world and India uh, speaking about uh, what is happening in uh, different kinds of issues that are coming up with photography today. And um, I think another thing I should mention is that uh, uh, when I uh, created the shows, they have, uh, I'm very aware of the architectural spaces and uh, uh, the shows, the way you walk through the show and you travel through the show and see the works is very much to do with the, is very important for the works as well because uh, uh, the works are placed to resonate with each other and uh, uh, it's very carefully sort of uh, designed and planned. So thank you very much. Trying to shape young minds, uh, also working in colleges. So at the Madras University, we are conducting skill development workshop series. The workshop series is scheduled for the last week of the Biennale, which is March 18th to 24th. In this skill development week, there will be lots and lots of workshops, I think almost 10 plus workshops, teaching different aspects of photography to photographers, you know, to, to college students. So for example, um, product photography, fashion photography, food photography, Photoshop. These are specific areas of photography that we are teaching to college students so that they also improve in their journey as professional photographers and that they can join the field with knowledge that has come from professional photographers, not from just college. Number one point of entry for foreign tourists in India. We are the number one point of entry for travelers. But still, we are not a highly touristed city. And I think that's something that an event like the Chennai Photo Biennale can really fix. It can put Chennai on the map of the contemporary art world. Speaking of maps, I invite you to all please pick up a copy. I think this might be in your brochure already. Uh, these are the maps for the Chennai Photo Biennale. As you can see, we have a total of 12 or 14 exhibitions that are spread across the city of Chennai. So you can all not just see it today, tomorrow or this weekend, but you have one full month. And I'd like you to invite all your readers and viewers to come and visit the Biennale. That is the goal of the festival is that we are a public arts initiative and we want the public to come and see the art. We are also showing in train stations. We have three Tiruvanmiyur. Uh, we have the Tiruvanmiyur station, Kasturbanai, other uh, station. Uh, we have also the Chintadri Pet MRTS station. We have taken colleges like uh, the NIFT Chennai. We have the NID College from Shish, uh, Gandhinagar, Ahmedabad. We also have uh, Shishti College of Design from Bangalore. So we are attracting some of the better art and design schools in the country to come and exhibit photography in our public train stations. Uh, I think in the next edition we hope this will grow better. So what is the vision for the Chennai Photo Biennale? I think the vision is that we want everybody in the south of India to start visiting Chennai during this one month period in February to come and see the art, to come and enjoy the photography. Also we want people from all over the world to think I'm going to India, why don't I go to Chennai? And we want to see the Chennai Photo Biennale. They have taken such beautiful buildings like the Senate House at Madras University, Madras Literary Society, which is another 200-year-old building, and the Government College of Fine Arts. Um, so please, please do take a visit. I know you all have busy schedules as members of the press, but take some time to go and see some of the other venues. Um, it's going to be worth something, and this is for a one-month period, so please keep, keep helping us with getting that message out there. Uh, I'd like to now hand over the microphone to my 
very close friend, colleague, mentor, and partner, Mr. Helmut Schippert, from the, the director of the Goethe Institute, Chennai Max Papa. Please. Hello. So thanks for coming. So thank you, Pushpamala, and all the Chennai Photo Biennale team. They give me great opportunity, opportunity for me to show in this great Photo Biennale. Actually, I'm a big fan of Pushpamala. So long time, and because I've become a photographer, you know, she is my inspiration, honestly. So in this photo biennale, I'm showing one of my body of work name called I Love MGR. So one guy name called his name is Vidya Sagar. He dressed up like MG Ramachandran almost is 47 years. So I documented him almost seven years. So I'm going to why the man live like M.G. Ramachandran in many years because of he is he's big fan of M.G. Ramachandran and then he, he's, he used to sing M.G.R. songs and used to watch all the time M.G.R. movies. So, is one of his big dream to come to Chennai to meet M.G. Ramachandran. That's not happens. So, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, so I'm tributing him like a dress up like M.G. Ramachandran tomorrow and have two days I'm going to, I made a, I'm tributing through a postcard I made a postcard, one of his picture and some few lines about his fashion so in my, my work in art house gallery so I think next couple of days you guys are all going to see that work also so thank you so much again so looking forward to see great events next